welcome back to another speed windsurfing episode this time from La Franquie. as I was saying in the last episode I was waiting for a good wind forecast in February for south of France and let me say this much I got lucky this time but first let me talk a little bit about why I do speed surfing for me it is mostly about the challenge to myself it doesn't matter really if I go 30 knots in light wind or if I do 45 knots on a speedboard. Because every time I go out, I challenge myself to go a little faster in the conditions I have, and I can always find something to work on, work on, and that is really motivating for me. Also, what is really fascinating for me is the challenge against others. Every time I go out, I post a session online, and we have this website, GPS Speedwind Surfing, where everyone is posting their sessions from several locations. And it is really cool to see how you progress through the years and how you hopefully get better every time you go out. And besides the GPS speed surfing website where everyone can upload their speeds, we also have two kinds or two formats of events in Germany, which are really motivating for me. And on the one hand, that is the German nationals, the speed championships in Germany. And in that format, everyone is sailing on the same spot. It's usually in September. 10 days against another. So we sail in a fleet and in the end the guy who sails the fastest over all the heat wins. So that is what I'm training for this year. I tried to achieve a good result there. So I will work spe uh, specifically on getting better for this kind of event. And yeah, the other event that I do is the German Speed King, which is an open event and you can sail in a period of one year on any spot in Europe that is not a man-made channel and in the end the fastest guy wins the competition and over the last years I have really progressed a lot in there I started I think back in 2013 where I finished 61st and last year I made it up to 15th place so this year I really want to try to break into that top 10 spot so I hope this will happen so over the last years, I made almost every year a trip to La Franquie or sometimes even more than one trip and try to get a good speed there in the beginning of the year, always around February, March. But last year I got really unlucky with the conditions because right before I arrived, a big storm hit with onshore winds and this onshore wind are no good for La Franquie because the beach line gets destroyed. There's a lot of sandbars coming up and yeah, the beach line is just not straight and flat and then it's not really possible to go fast. But this year, however, I got lucky with the conditions. We had five days of Tramontana and on two of those I could do really good speeds.
yeah, these two days I managed to broke almost all of my existing records. I made a new record in the two second, the 10 second run, the five times 10 second, the nautical mile, like I said, almost everything. So I'm really happy with that, but it is mainly about getting the right conditions and being on the right spot at the right time. If you manage to do that, you will improve your speeds. So on the one hand, yes, it's a lot of training that goes into it and uh, trimming your gear and working on your fitness, etc., etc. But in the end, what it really comes down to is be on the right spot at the right time. And this year I made a good start. I still think I can do a little bit better than that this year, but I need the conditions for that. So I hope I will get those and maybe we have them in Busum again or also in La Franquille again. So we will see.